Hi, guys! Today we're gonna make a cardboard dog that can guard your savings. Wow, Sue! Does it mean this dog will bark or something? No, Sammy. It will just serve as a piggy bank. Or you can call it a doggy bank. Sue, can I give the doggy a name? Sure, Sammy. It's your loyal guard. In the meantime, we'll take the templates that I've already cut out and bend across these lines. We'll do it carefully and firm, and our next step will be easy to make. Sammy, can you please help me and finish the other pieces? Easy peasy, shoe! And we'll connect all the seams and form the head. Use a hot glue gun. Be careful working with it. One can easily get burned. I just finished this, shoe. You need it now, don't ya? You're always on time! Guys, did you know that a dog's sense of smell is at least 40 times better than ours? Some of them are so good that they can even sniff out our medical problems. Even COVID-19. Isn't that amazing? Huh. So maybe we should call our little dog Sniffer. Maybe. Dogs' noses are designed that way so they can breathe freely and sniff at the same time, unlike people. <laughs> All right. Sue, I made this piece for you all thinking of a name for our dog. Here, take this! Don't worry, Sammy. You still have time to come up with a proper name. We'll apply some glue carefully. It's easy, guys. We just need to connect these parts using hot glue. And here we go. Let's turn the head around and connect these sides. Uh, what about Frank? I like to call this dog Frank. I think I know what inspired you. Isn't that the adorable alien pug from Men in Black? By the way, guys, we're going to glue the neck now. Here we go. Yeah, that bug wore a suit and liked to sing. I mean, how cool is that, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, Sammy. I wish our cookie could sing too. Anyway, that dog and its name are really cool. But why should you repeat when you can create? But it's a super agent's name, Sue! Okay, Sammy, I agree. It's amazing, but I'm also sure you can figure out something special. Here's the ear you asked for. Uh, speaking of a special name, maybe Milo? Isn't that the energetic, cheerful Jack Russell Terrier from the Mask movie? Wow, Sue, it seems like you've seen all the movies in the world. I'm just very attentive because I like dogs. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like them too. Did you know that the fastest breed of dog is a greyhound? They can reach a running speed of 72 kilometers per hour within just a few seconds. So what? Did you know that a cheetah can get up to almost 110 kilometers per hour? Oh, I'm gonna call my dog Cheetah! Yes, but a cheetah can keep the speed for only 30 seconds. A greyhound can for 11 kilometers. Oh, you're missing something, buddy. Up, ah, now we're talking. Looks great, huh? I think something else is missing. Oh, I know. Voila! The next step is the front legs. These two pieces look like butterfly wings. Up, ah, great. Susie, what if I try to make hind legs? I think you can do it even with your eyes closed. It's so great to make something with friends. In the end, you'll get not only a great mood, but an awesome craft, too. That's true, Sue. The process becomes easier and more fun. I love doing crafts with you. I like little tricks. What about you guys? Give a thumbs up if you do. Does it look familiar? These are the future legs of our dog. Oh, I can't wait to see the result. Huh. Sue, what are those paw prints? <laughs> Check out the paws I made while you were inspecting the table. Wow, it's so cool, Sue! What about your part? Did you manage to finish the legs? Did you come up with a name? I hope you didn't forget all about that. <laughs> um, Sammy? Sammy, do this! Sammy, do that! What would you do without Sammy, huh? I can't even think about it. I'm lucky to have you always by my side. Let's move to the second leg. Uh, Susie, I just finished with my part. Can you please help me? It's so big, I can't bring it myself. It'll be easier together. Of course, Sammy, in a little while. By the way, did you know that cat people and dog people are very different? But what do they have in common? All of them love their pets. Give a thumbs up if you love your pets, too. By the way, great job, Sammy. Let's connect the parts together and get the body. Susie, what hell are the coins get inside? I've got that covered.
word. See? This slit will let the coins in. I made it in advance. So then how will we get the coins out of our doggy bank? <laughs> You'll see. I just wanted to start that part. We need to make a box where the coins will fall and be stored. It's easy. We'll just glue all the pieces together to make a container. Carefully apply some glue here… And connect these two edges of the piece. By the way, guys, did you know that dogs can feel your state of mind? So if you're sad or stressed, they'll try to comfort you. Okay, now we'll close the box this way. Nutella! Ha, I mean… So let's call the dog Nutella! Now you decided to go over your favorite sweets? Aw, uh, come on, Sue! <laughs> You'll find your inspiration. Let's make a tube-like box through which our coins will fall out. And yay! But I don't want all the coins to lie down there. That's why I want to make a special partition. We'll need two frames for that. Put them right here. And what are these for? Oh, thanks! These pieces will prevent the coins from getting stuck in the corners. I don't want Sammy to be worried that his coins can get lost somewhere inside the doggy bank. And it's ready! It looks like we forgot about this piece. What do we do now? Don't worry, Sammy. It's gonna be a tail. Every dog wags its tail. Our friend is not an exception. Oh, it will also serve as a lid. Huh. It's time to assemble the doggy bank! Let's go! We need to put the cardboard container inside. Wow, Sue, you're doing great! Keep the pace! I can't wait to see the result! Our next step is our tail lid. This is delicate work, guys. Be careful. And it goes right here. <laughs> Sue, what is this thingy? Did you lose it by any chance? Yes! Thank you very much! That's our partition! Let's place it in the gap between the two containers. Now we need to secure it somehow. These rubber bands are the best solution. Be careful, Sue! Don't break anything! Here, everything's set, Sammy. Guys, it's time to put the head onto its place. Carefully, carefully… Yes! Sue, this is the back, am I right? Yes, it will hide the mechanism inside. Great. The only step left is decoration! Did you say decoration? Yep. I know you're a master at it, so I want to suggest that we work together. We need to paint our doggy bank so it will look more realistic. I'll take the muzzle, the chest, and the front legs. The rest is on you. I mean, Sue! Let's get started! I want to paint the ears and the nose with black paint. Sammy, did you manage to choose a name in the end? Uh-huh. Hmm. Yes, I have one idea. I think you're gonna like it. Oh, I can't wait to hear the name of our little friend. Now let's paint the legs. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. I need some rest. I want to add the shades to make the fur look much more realistic. Oh, no, I want to have another dog. They're so smart and cute, and they're always happy to see you and ready to join you in any adventure. Sue, so it sounds like you only love dogs, but what about our hamster, spider, and cat? Oh no, Sammy, I love them all equally. Animals are absolutely amazing. Guys, do you know the book The Little Prince written by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry? There's a famous quote from it. You are responsible forever for what you have tamed. Here comes the final touches, and done! Sammy, are you ready? Of course, Sue! So. Great! Let's take a closer look at our cutie. Sammy, are you ready to test our doggy bank? I was born ready! Then let's insert the coins! 
two. And three. Now let's try to take the coins out. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, by the way, Sammy, what name did you choose? Our doggy bank will be named DIY. Wow! Do you like it, guys? If yes, give a thumbs up and hit the bell button not to miss our next video. Hey! Hello, guys! Today we're going to make a cool sheepy bank with a gumball vending machine. Great cash back. All banks should consider this option. First, I made a couple of templates. Five tablets with round holes on the edge. Uh, are you sure a gumball fits in there and doesn't get stuck? Of course, Sammy. I drew a circle around the gumball on our cardboard beforehand. The hole I made is even a little larger. Now we apply the glue to the base of each tablet. And add a little bit of magic. Hop. Nice and neat. Impressive. But I still don't understand how we get a sheet from this. Be patient, Sam. You're an economist after all. We've got a construction like this. And the gumball still fits in perfectly. Now let's make a fastening. Insert a sharp stick approximately in the middle. And cut off the tips like this. Done! I also made another similar template. But it's not for gumballs. It's for coins! Huh. And what's the difference? There's not just a round hole at its edge, but a hole with an angled cardboard. So the coin rolls down nicely. Sam, it's time to make the sheet. We need to cut some walls for the base out of cardboard. Can you do it? I can manage important economical issues. You really think I can't handle the cardboard? Okay, I believe you. Take all the necessary stuff and check out the dimensions in my notebook. We'll be done, boss. Oh, wait, huh? I can't do it right now. What? I can't proceed with our craft until you give us a thumbs up. So, hmm, they're much better. Now I'm on it. In the meantime, I'm going to finish the main mechanism. Let's place the wooden rim around the hole for our coins and fix this part with super glue. There and here. Easy. Now we can connect the tablet for gumballs with the tablet for coins, getting a unified mechanism. Here, the construction is done. So soon my money is materializing. Uh, Sam, I don't get it. Did you cut out the walls for a sheepy bank? So that's what I'm talking about. Here. Here are the first, second, and third platforms. And some walls for our sheepy bank. Great job, Sammy. Since you did so good, turn around for a second, please. Huh, what's that? Turn back. I brought your work to perfection. Not bad, Sue. Let's get this piece done and set up our construction so everything is perfect. Here's another wall. Thanks. There we go. Now we need to make the main mechanism of our construction. It will push out the gumballs. Pay attention that we removed the upper cardboard layer here. It reminds me of a swing for two. Yay! <laughs> Let's call it a swing for cash back. We also have some wooden parts. Let's glue them together as well. Very carefully. Now this is the base of our mechanism. So it's sort of our sheep's brain since it will perform the general work. Well, in a way. <laughs> Sam, you're very creative. You bet. Business is all about creativity. Let's get back to the filling of our sheep. Let's add a small wooden holder for the rubber band. And glue it to the main construction, of course. I put the rubber band onto the mechanism, correct? Absolutely. We need to put the ready wooden mechanism here, where we made this special hole. Oh, that's why we needed it. This construction will give us the cash back. I saw something else in your notebook and made a little more than you asked for. I cut the templates from popsicle sticks. Sammy, you're amazing. Let's glue them into our sheepy bank. I just want to help you. In that case, let's use magic. Guys, the last one we glue crosswise. There. Now here we put the cardboard platforms. And insert the popsicle sticks. They'll be the lever of our pushing mechanism. Now, let's place a small cardboard piece on top. And... Ouch! Sam, what does this mean? 
Sorry, I couldn't help it. Why do you need another rubber band to lash up dollar bills? Oh, Sammy, don't rush. There is still one important part to put. While the rubber band is for the other side of the coin bank, let's glue the wooden fastenings. And the second one. This mechanism is so crafty. Now tie them with these rubber bands, which actually hit quite painfully. Sorry, I won't do it again. Can we check out the work of the whole mechanism? <laughs> sure, let's throw the gumballs into our cash back section. Now I insert the coin, pull the lever, and get an instant cash back. Perfect! Do we just need to turn this mechanism into a sheep? Correct. We're going to do it right now. I have a task for you as well. I'm ready! But first, we need to cover the mechanism from the other side with cardboard like this. Let's also put another fastening. And pull the rubber bands on the other side. Now, we'll need cardboard circles. First, let's cut out the actual circle. And the hole for the mechanism. You should make seven more pieces like this and glue them one by one. Can you do it? It's easier than counting the annual inflation. I'm mad! Meanwhile, I'll get to the appearance of our sheep. So, it's time to make our coin bank look like a sheep! I already drew the contour of our sheep's face on the cardboard. Guys, be very careful working with sharp tools. Cut the face out carefully. And as you can see, guys, I made the ears very big on purpose. Guys, I made the sheep's wool from a regular cloth. How do you like it? <gasps> Here comes Sam. I can't believe he's already done. I had to recall a couple of new formulas and techniques, but I'm ready to present my work, Susie. You did great, Sammy. Now we can glue the face. Look, the coin bank is starting to look like a sheep. Huh, it really reminds me of something. Uh, did I mop the floor with this yesterday? <laughs> Good point. It's really made out of a cloth. And it's time to make our sheep warm. Here's the secret. We can always open the zipper and load new candies inside. It reminds me of a wireless speaker with a lock. Don't forget that it is a sheep, not a woolen speaker. And it has legs. Let's glue them well. I already glued the second, the third, and the fourth. Let's hurry up and finish it! I can't wait! <laughs> Hold on a little. We need to paint it as well. Let's mix the necessary colors. Okay, I'm gonna go do something else. Step aside. Here comes a great decorator! <laughs> <sighs> We just need to attach everything to our sheep. My finances urgently need a safe storage! And my soul wants the cash back, so let's speed up and finish it! put my first coin into the sheep. All right. Got it! But I have more coins. Let's see! Here's the second one. You can never have too much cash back. Hey, don't get carried away there. Okay, I'll throw in the rest of my coins later. It's more fun to save this way. While the cash back I will use right now. 